All right. Somebody asked me in a comment on a uh, garment I made how to use one of these Singer button holders. Um, since I happen to have one out and I'm bored, I'll make a video right here. This, I believe, will also work on the Kenmore. Anyway, open it up. These are the parts you need to have. Obviously, the button holder itself. All right, let's, let's put it so it's right side up. There we go. You will also have in here a flat, at least for my machine, this is a Singer Featherweight 221. I don't know if it's going to be like this for other people's machines, but I have this thing that I have to uh, clamp on the over the do feed dogs. It's a little screw on it. Okay. This is the uh, this is the important part. Is this little nut right here? Uh, it's a little screw. Um, it looks like you're supposed to be able to tighten it also with a, a screwdriver. It's got a little screw head on the back, but you can just do it with your fingers. Uh, you can go to the hardware store and probably find something that will work for this if you don't have one. Anyway, um, this is the width of your stitch, how wide your buttonhole is. I like it. You can play with it. I advise you to put this on your machine, make sure you have a full bobbin, and just play with it. So I like it right here, sort of medium. So it goes all the way over wide to narrow, and that just changes how fast the, how wide it swings. You'll have a billion of these things. These are the cams. The way this thing works, you put the cam in this little plate back here, all right, and it ratchets its way around the cam and makes a zigzag. The whole thing wiggles back and forth. It's kind of cute. All right. Um, some of these are longer, some of these are shorter. Uh, Okay, this is a short one. This is a long one. These, I only have two of these. I should have more, but this isn't a complete set. If you're really lucky, you'll have one that makes an eyelet. These, with the little sort of key-shaped ones, these will make keyhole buttonholes that are useful for coats. Take the pressure foot off of your machine. So this is your pressure foot. This is the screw. It's not long enough for the attachment. So just, I put it in the box so I don't lose it. Anyway. Well, there's a hole. There's going to be a, a threaded hole in the plate of your machine, on the base of your machine. And that's where this goes. Basically, it goes wherever. Then you'll go through this little hole here. And this screws in right there. Okay. Now, you need to get a screwdriver that's short to fit under here. And what I like to do is I like to lower the needle so I know that it's in the right spot so it just sits there. So I use the edge of my bobbin to screw it in. Don't laugh. I had a little short screwdriver. I have no idea where it is. So you make that nice and tight because you don't want it to wiggle around too much. Pull this open. It sort of pulls back and then flops open. And this is where you want to grease is right in there. That's why there's a big blob of grease. It won't get on your stuff. Don't worry about it. So, this, these little teeth here line up with the little teeth in here. So you figure out kind of where that goes. You sort of, oops, there's a fat end and a skinny end. Obviously, I got it wrong. And it looks like that. You wiggle it around. Eventually, it should go in place. Close the door. And then what you can do is you wind this knob. And that's kind of close, isn't it? Let's move this away. You wind this knob here. Can we see everything? Yeah. And the... You can see this plate up here progresses. So right now the machine, the little buttonholer, is walking around the edges of that cam we put in, and that's how it's going to make the buttonhole. So I think it's easiest. This is out of the way as much as it can, so I roll it all the way back there. All right. This right here goes on the the screw that your needle is held on with, and this right here goes on the pressure foot. There's a hole. That that bolt I showed you earlier, well, here it is. This thing goes through. Okay. So well, let me see. You gotta get by the thread cutter back there. So this, those little little jaws are going over the needle holder, and then you just sort of turn it sideways, and somewhere here, the little holes will line up. They line them up. Okay, you can jiggle it up down and just tighten the screw that's on there. All right, so there's the 
little alligator teeth or little, I don't know, claw, the claw, the claw goes around here. Slide it between the plate and the presser, gigantic presser foot. If you have a mark, you line it up. Lower the presser foot. Hands off the machine. You don't want to pull on it at all. And you uh, go. There you go. I go around twice to make it look better. Needle up, raise the pressure foot, and you are done. Out, out. Oh, that's a key for my sewing machine case. Doesn't belong in there.